the Jazz are telling teams that they're not going to trade Donovan Mitchell. And as of now, um, I have been told Donovan Mitchell is focused on playing for the Jazz, which I think means he's not going to ask for a trade. Is that going to be the same on Labor Day? I don't know. Is that going to be the same on Christmas Day? I don't know. Um, but right now he is focused on playing for the Jazz. He is not going to um, react, I guess. I'm sure he's reacted, but he's not going to have some sort of reaction like that. Um, the Jazz have traded for six first-round picks, uh, or five first-round picks, and, uh, and the player who was just drafted, so it's almost like six first-round picks. Um, when they include the Rudy Gobert and Royce O'Neal trades, mm -hmm. and they have yet to sign anybody unless I've missed something. Uh, 29 teams have signed players. The Jazz have not signed anyone. Um, obviously, you can't do a half rebuild. If they're going to totally do a rebuild, they're going to have to trade Donovan Mitchell. What the Jazz are trying to tell people, I would go so far as trying to sell, is that they're going to use these assets to build around Donovan um, uh, the way uh, Danny Ainge built around Paul Pierce when he took over the, the, um, the Celtics as team president way back 20 years ago. Uh, that's what they're selling, McMahon. What are you buying? Not that. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words, yeah. and it's not just about it's not just about the fact that everything they've done and we've talked about hiring thirty four year old Will Hardy to give him his first head coaching job at any level, committing to him four or five years, and and that's not to to say I I don't think it's a good hire, but it's not a hire of a team that is expecting to compete right now and immediately. Um, you know, the, the, the trade for Gobert where, Hey, they got great value, but it's not value. That's going to help you win now. So I don't even think it's going to, you know, we'll, maybe they can prove me wrong and flip those picks into something else, uh, and, and put a contender around Donovan. I'll believe that when I see it. And the, the, the whispers around the league are that Danny Ainge is not convinced that Donovan Mitchell can be the the face of a contending franchise um and you know the, and again the other thing is they let Royce O'Neal go they in a in a salary dump slash you know future first round pick uh, acquisition that was his best friend on the jazz before they went out uh after Donovan Strong suggested they go out and get his childhood best friend Eric Pascal who they did not extend a qualifying offer to so if you're dumping Donovan's best friends you're hiring a coach who he's, he's got very little connection with, who's probably best suited for a for a long term rebuilding type job. Um, the, the very clearly, they've basically Danny Ainge has sent the message of Donovan: this ain't your franchise to run anymore. Those days are over. And guess what? If it's not Donovan Mitchell's franchise to run, why would he want to be there? Well, we, even we, even if it was Bontemps, even if it wasn't him running it, like even if you just said, "Look, the guy, a guy shouldn't be running a franchise." If you're a player in your mid twenties who's committed long term, and you see the franchise going this direction, I don't, I almost don't care what's in the past. I mean, in, in you know, in, in protecting your career, I don't think that you can sit there and just do nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think this is less about. Donovan Mitchell's career and more about the very, you know, what seems to be a pretty clear direction the Utah Jazz are taking. Like we've talked about before, mm -hmm. this is the team that's currently incomplete. They don't have a starting small forward. They don't have a starting center, right? So if you look at where they're at, they either have to make some moves to improve this team, to make it a potential competitive team in the West, which right now I don't even think they're a playing team as it stands mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Or you start to look at going the other direction. Like that's they're like they're at they're literally at the fork in the road, and it's do they go left or right? They like there's not room to run with this current iteration right now of what they and have. It's like not it's, even do you, it's not even to me. It's not even do you go left or right. It's do you take this turn or are you just going to stall out on the side of the road? So sure, right? Where do you where do you suppose? What do you think Mike Conley is thinking about right now? This isn't what he signed. 
Well, Mike Conley's thinking about, hmm, I, I wonder if I'm getting traded. Just like every, guess what? Boyan Bogdanovich. Sure. Same thing. I mean, th- we'll, th- these guys didn't sign there for this, right? No. I mean, and, and like d- nobody, nobody is untradeable in, in Utah or, you know, off limits, I should say. Not now. In, in Utah, that that's very, including Donovan Mitchell. I don't care what message they send out there. Um, I, I don't believe it. Uh, and like, it, it, it makes no sense. Oh, we're all in on building around Donovan. Really? Because the last time Donovan Mitchell spoke publicly, he was asked straight up, you know, Hey, there's a lot of buzz about you potentially asking for a trade. What's up with that? And his answer was, give me a week to think about it. Since then, uh, aside from some, you know, shirtless, uh, IG, posts and you know even, and, a, and a white party appearance and the, and the white party there's no reaction to the hiring of, of of will hardy there's no reaction even to the departure of of quinn snyder other than that was a nice sources. house they were at in the hamptons man it was a nice house was, was that michael rubin's party it um was, believe it or not uh a lot of nba players there i wonder if they talked about anything with donovan um <laughs> <laughs> Maybe about how he'd fit with Pat Bev. That, that was probably the discussion. Um, Definitely the only discussion. No other discussion whatsoever. I, I, I'm sure when he was hanging out with Tatum, that's what they were talking about. No question. Oh no, they were probably talking about the good the good spots to hit during All Star Weekend and uh, in Salt Lake City. I bet. But let, I mean, come on. Like, let's not even pretend here. Donovan Mitchell has tried to be evasive about him wanting out of Salt Lake City when that's all anybody's been talking about for months now. Us since he really us, since he signed that contract, everybody was sort with of the, going, with huh. with the player option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means you've got this year and two more that he's guaranteed. Then he can get out of town if he wants. He can hit free agency. It's like and he has said the very little that he said is you know, basically he's as far as where he wants to be will be based on being able to compete for championships and family. Do you see any of those in, in Salt Lake City? But the the reading between the lines message from Danny Ainge is I don't give a damn what you want, Donovan. See, that's um, what I I think you're right on with that. That's yes. that's exactly true. I think the way Danny operated in Boston was he'll do what he has to do to protect the shield. And he got his price for Rudy Gobert. I don't think he felt like he had to trade him. He told, you know, I think the way he handled that negotiation, trader Danny had his, had his uh, saddle and, and uh, spurs back on making that deal. He was all happy to, to just do another deal that was, you know, heavy on the assets. Although what, what did they try to tell teams to the combine? Oh, we're not trying to trade any of our guys. I mean, you said it, judge them by their actions, not their words. Right. I don't um, even want to hear any of, yeah. of the spin. Just like, all right. So let's just take the jump forward here. In the, in the event that he does ask for a trade, considering what Danny has now said is the standard for what he wants for his star player, the New York Knicks immediately float to the front because. Well, the other thing, though, if he asks for a trade, Danny can say, dude, I'll trade you when I want to. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.